Hello friends, Mrs. Doreen here and today I want to read to you Bear Says Thanks, a book written by Carmel Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Bear Says Thanks. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, bored, bored and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share, but he looks through his cupboard and his cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie and Bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie, but I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. He hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says Hare, then he points to the door. Here comes Badger, he's got even more. Brrr, says Badger, as he tramps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole and Bear says, thanks. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's flap and flitter and a flurry in the den. When in flutters owl with raven and wren. We have pears from the trees and herbs to brew tea. What a lovely gathering of friends. And then Bear says, wait. Oh yeah. I wonder what Bear is waiting for. What do you think it's gonna do next? We'll find out. Bear mutters and stutters and he's, he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Oh, he's sad. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It would be all right. And the bear says, thanks. How lovely to have good friends that make you happy and they hug you and they love you and they like to share with you. That's what friends are for. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In a cave in the woods, in a warm bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend bear. 
they pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. The end. I love this book and I hope you liked it too. It's the perfect book for Thanksgiving time. And I am always thankful to, to our friends at the Penergas Family Resource Center, all of our families and the support that we receive. And I want to um, wish each and every one of you happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye friends.